Hey everybody, today's video brings us back out to Sanatoga, Pennsylvania. And of course, why else would we be in Sanatoga, Pennsylvania other than to check out the Liberty Ministry Thrift, their gigantic, awesome mega store. I was just out here last week. In fact, I've been coming, kind of coming out here every, every single week. So I was actually going to um, avoid this store this week. I was gonna go somewhere else, do some thrifting at a completely different store. However, they're actually running a sale was a weird way to park a car. They're actually running a sale right now. It's a media sale. All media is 50% off this week. Kind of meant to get out here earlier, but that unfortunately um, did not happen. It's now what Thursday. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of way into the week at this point. Hopefully all the good media hasn't been bought up, but since they are running a 50% off media sale, I figured I would come out here today to see what hopefully maybe possibly I could find. As always, I'm hoping for at least one one good movie, if I can find just one good piece of, of media, well, not any media, one good one good DVD, one good Blu-ray, something like that, I'd be a pretty happy camper. Looks like there's actually a lot of people back there looking through the media, so should we start the video off today in the media section and not the toy section? Yeah, probably. All right, so yeah, today we're gonna be starting things off back here in the books and media section because, um, well, again, that's what's on sale. That's what I wanna find today, and there are some people back here looking through everything, and. I'm hoping they actually left something good, good for me. Hopefully there's a there's a DVD or a Blu-ray or a, a box set or a, a TV show or, or just something that I wanna pick up for 50% off. Yeah, it'd be cool to find some stuff for maybe for the store as well, but right now I'm just hoping maybe possibly something for me either over here or maybe in the, the hidden movies over there. I can't remember if the last time I was out here, if there was maybe something I was looking at, but decided to pass on because of the price. I mean, things are only $2, so I can't imagine there was really anything I was I was passing on because of the price, but who knows? Again, everything today is like a dollar, which is pretty awesome. So, all right, let's dive in. Let's see what we can find. And again, I'm hoping for just at least one thing. And just like that, the thrifting gods have heard my prayers and have answered my call with a documentary here. This is a PBS American Experience documentary, Eleanor Roosevelt. This is awesome. I don't believe I have this. I love a good PBS documentary. I love a good American Experience documentary. And I love Eleanor Roosevelt. Anyway, this is pretty awesome. This is amazing. I would definitely grab this if the disc is in good condition and it's looking minty. Yeah, other than a little smudge there on the corner. Otherwise, this is in completely 100% minty condition and I'm definitely picking this up for my, my collection. So, all right, I'm, I'm off to a, a good start. I, get, I mean, I was off to a bad start. Now I'm off to a, a better start. Anyway, for a dollar, I'm picking this up. I definitely want to start picking up more of these Sky Dance releases. This was a um, an animated series from the, the 90s, if I'm not mistaken, that I never really got around to watching. And I recently checked out some episodes and it was a pretty good show. I definitely want to, um, I know as weird as it sounds, I definitely want to get into, get into Sky Dancers more. So I definitely want to pick more of these up when I come across them. Though every time I do come across these, they're always in terrible condition. And this one here is no different. This one is completely destroyed. It's a hockey puck. So I'm gonna end up passing on that. I always see these like volumed releases. This one here being volume number seven. Do they ever do like a, a complete series set or season sets of that show? If they if they have, leave a comment down below. Maybe I should be looking for for those or just order them off of Amazon or, or something. But anyway, Sky Dancers. Did you like Sky Dancers? Was Sky Dancers a show that you were ever into? Leave a leave a comment about that down below as well. Anyway, I'm passing on that one. I'm not really seeing much over here in the Blu-rays, at least nothing that I actually need to pick up. I wanna say I pretty much have all this stuff, maybe with the exception of this Wolf Hall, which is something I've never actually seen before. And after reading the synopsis, doesn't necessarily look like something I would want to really watch or add to my collection. I don't know, maybe this is good. Leave a comment down below. If you've seen this, let me know. Is it any good? But I'd like to see where this goes for on eBay and it's selling for right around like 15-ish dollars. So I'm thinking for $1, I should probably pick this up for the store. I'm trying to focus more on media for the store, not so much toys and collectibles anymore. I'm thinking about getting out of that that racket. I mean, I'm not really looking to, to do a lot of reselling anymore as it is, but if I am going to continue to resell, I just want to kind of make it like stick to, to media, lots of, lots of movies and stuff like that. So I'm thinking I should probably pick this up for a buck, right? Probably. All right. I'm gonna grab this too. Here's a copy of, um, I'm gonna say this wrong, right? Amelie, am I, I'm, I'm totally saying that incorrectly, aren't I? I've actually never seen this movie. I wanna say I already do own it. I just haven't got around to actually watching it. It's in my, my very large pile of things I need to watch before I decide as to whether or not it's actually going into my collection or not going into my collection. But here's a brand new factory sealed copy. And again, looked up to see what this goes for on eBay. And um, this one's selling for a little bit too, as long as it's brand new factory sealed, which it is. 
this whole um, sticking to just media thing is going to be a new learning experience for me. I, I do tend to know things that are out of print. Well, I mean, everything is going out of print these days, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty up to date, I guess, on some stuff that's out of print and kind of what's good to actually pick up as far as media is concerned. But when it comes to just random titles like this, because it's brand new factory sealed and it goes for a little bit of money, I'm actually not familiar with that kind of stuff. So, all right, so I'm, I'm picking that up as as well. That's, I mean, again, it's a buck. Why, why not, right? I, I hope this is just not me picking up a whole bunch of stuff for the store day. At least I found one thing I want for me, but I want more stuff for me now. Again, those thrifting gods are definitely listening to me today because um, after I said that, here's another PBS documentary in search of Shakespeare. I don't, I don't have this. Again, I love PBS documentaries, so I'm going to pick this one up for my collection as well for a buck. Why, why not? Is that all I have to keep saying is I, I want to find more stuff. I want to find more stuff and then more documentaries will pop up. I mean, I'm kind of hoping for more than just documentaries today as well, but whatever. I'll, I'll take a, hey, I'll take a stack of documentaries. I'm okay with that. Anyway, for a dollar, I'm grabbing this for me. Here's something else I've never heard of. So if you have, leave a comment down below. This is Death Comes to Pemberley. I have no idea. A masterpiece mystery, original UK edition. After reading the synopsis, I don't know. It just sounds like something I'm not like dying to check out. Nothing I'm really wanting to add to my collection. Maybe this is good. Like I said, if you've seen it, leave a comment down below. Let me know. But again, this is something else that sells for nothing crazy, but more than a dollar. So I'm thinking for the store, I should probably also pick this up. I'm getting a little crazy here with the whole picking up media for the for the store thing. Maybe that's not the the greatest idea. Maybe I should stick to, to toys, right? No, I'm, I'm I'm happy with my finds today. Again, just, I just I want I want more stuff for me. I hope they're listening again. Well, I guess they were listening, just not in the way I wanted them to listen because I'm thinking I'm finding more stuff here for the store. They have Doc Martin collection series one through four, and then they got series five here. So. Series one through five of Doc Martin. These are all in minty condition. Season five hasn't even been opened. So again, I'm thinking more good finds for the store. I'm sure this is a show I'm you're gonna tell me I should I should watch. I I've seen like one or two episodes of this show. Nothing I'd really ever got into. So um not really a show for me. But yeah, again for the for the store. I mean I'm gonna pick this up for like what three three dollars total. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab those those as well. Again, I want I want more stuff for me. And with that, my prayers have been answered, no pun intended. Well, okay, maybe maybe a little bit of a pun intended because I'm finding some history channel here. This is Jesus, the Lost 40 Days. I want to say I don't have this. I'm pretty sure I don't have this in my collection. I say that because I do actually have some history channel box sets, and one of them is all about biblical stories. So this could possibly be included in that set, but I want to say it's it's not. Pretty sure I don't have this. So for a dollar, I am definitely picking this up, and I guess I'm definitely buying nothing but a whole bunch of documentaries for me personally, which I'm okay with. Documentaries are the biggest section of my library, so clearly I love documentaries. I have nothing wrong with documentaries. I always buy a good documentary, so all right, again, for a dollar, I'm, I'm buying this, yet another documentary. This, however, is not a documentary. It's a Warner Archives title, The Secret Garden, which I definitely do not have yet. Now, when it comes to these Warner Archives titles, I just, I always buy them when I find them for a good price. Again, this is something that's going to go into a pile of things I need to watch before I decide as to whether or not I'm actually going to add it to my collection or not add it to my collection, but it's a Warner Archives title in minty condition for a dollar, so I'm definitely picking this up. I never pass on these, so that is pretty awesome. If you guys have seen this movie, leave a comment down below. Let me know, but all right, so hey, look, look at that. I'm picking up one thing for me so far that's actually not a documentary. I mean, granted, I haven't decided yet if it's actually going into my collection or not, but still, I'm, I'm picking up at least one non, non, one no doc, one non documentary, and I'm losing my mind. Actually, it's not so much that I'm losing my mind as much as it is that I'm looking in the viewfinder as I'm recording this and realizing that my beard is like completely crazy and out of control, and I don't like it and I need to cut it, but I'm going to Disney next week, so it's gonna be another week until I, I do trim this down. All right, so just about done here over in the uh, sort of normal movie section. Again, we do still have all the hidden movies over there, but um, was this just sitting here the whole time? How did I almost completely miss this Get Smart, the complete series box set? Just, again, sitting here on top of all the, all the movies. Now, I technically already have all these seasons individually. I don't have them in this, uh, this sweet box set here. This is actually really, really cool. This would be um, a, a sort of upgrade. I'd, I'd be upgrading the box and then I could just sell off all my individual seasons, which I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing. This is really cool. I don't know what they're gonna charge me for this, but I mean it's 
whatever it is, it's, it's half a price and all these discs are in completely 100% minty conditions. So, um, all, all right, now I'm, now I'm officially happy I came in here. This is awesome. No, you have a great day. All right, well, with that amazing find, I think that is gonna do it for the normal media section. But again, we do still have all the hidden movies over here and there is a ton to look through. So I'm hoping maybe for some more, you know, complete series sets of Get Smart, that'd be nice. Well, I guess asking you shall receive, right? Okay, it's not a complete series, but they do actually have some more Get Smart here. Though I'm thinking this is a, oh yeah, that's definitely 100% a bootleg. So, I mean, <laughs> I, I did ask, right? But no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up passing on, on that one. However, here's two things I think I'm not gonna pass on. One of these being some more History Channel. Yes, yeah, some more, some more documentaries. Although this is a mini series about Grant. I don't have this in my collection. So again, for, for a dollar, I'm definitely picking that up. And then this, I also don't have the Lady in the Van. I've never seen this. I know nothing about this. I mean, it has a really good cast. I. I like the sound of the synopsis. If you guys have seen this uh, movie, leave a comment down below. Let me know about this one. But again, it's it's only one dollar, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that one as well. You know, I honestly, again, I'm I'm always trying to keep the power of positivity alive. But I kind of thought I was gonna come in here, maybe find like one or two titles, and that was gonna that was gonna be about it on the on the fifty percent off media day. But no, I'm I'm, I'm finding I'm finding all this. I don't know if things are getting out of hand now or if this is good, but I'm finding some more titles I think I want to pick up for the store. One of them being A Year in Providence. I've never heard of this, but looks interesting. Goes for a little bit of money. And we have the um, Agatha Christie's Miss Marple collection here, some BBC. Again, I've never seen any of these and they're not really something I would want for me personally, but looked up to see what they go for. And they're not selling for crazy amounts, but they're selling for definitely more than I'm going to be paying for these. So I'm thinking I should be buying these also for the store. I'm picking up way too much stuff for the store though. I'm, I, again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I guess I shouldn't be complaining about that. I am trying to buy more media for the store. Let, less toys, more, more movies for the store. That's what I really want to start focusing on. So um, I guess it's a good thing, right? As long, as long as they sell, then it's a great thing. Okay, well, I'm thinking that's just about gonna do it for the um, movies in general. I don't see anything over here in the hidden movies I want to pick up, but you know what? I'm. I'm okay with that because I'm finding a ton of awesome and amazing stuff today. I'm very happy with my pickups. Although I do wish I would have grabbed a cart. I mean, as per usual, I did not, but um, you know what, what whatever. I can I can carry this all, all by hand for now. I'm, I'm happy with my finds. And yes, before anybody asks, I did briefly skim through all the CDs, though I'm not really seeing anything over here I, I wanna pick up. So I'm thinking CDs are, are gonna be a bust and that's gonna do it for the, uh, the media section, which again, I'm, I'm quite happy about. All right, well, I'm clearly not doing any more thrifting unless I grab myself a um, a cart. There we go, grab some power of positivity. Way, way incredibly too late. Whatever, the power of positivity is definitely already with me, but maybe we'll find some um, interesting toys. Again, I'm not really trying to pick up any toys for for the store so much anymore, but I don't know, maybe some cool action figures or collectibles for, for me personally. I really wanna start picking up some more stuff for me personally. So when it comes to toys and collectibles for me, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is kind of set myself a limit of $5 and under. If I find a cool toy or collectible or some kind of tchotchke or something like that that would look good on a shelf and it's five or under, I'll pick it up for me. I mean, maybe occasionally I'll go above that limit, but I'm thinking for the most part, no no more than $5, that's my cap. And also it has to fit on a shelf. So it can't really be any taller than an actual DVD case. That's also the uh, the limit. So that's my, my new goal to get some more decor for the library to put some cool fun toys and tchotchkes and collectibles and whatnot on some shelves. I'm thinking that's a good idea. And it's gonna be fun to, to buy that kind of stuff. And then somewhere down the line, if I don't want it anymore, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it to a toy store. And if I don't want any more, I don't necessarily mean that I'm gonna stop collecting toys and collectibles and tchotchkes. I just mean that as time goes on, my movie collection will grow larger and larger and larger and my shelves will start to fill up and I'll have less space for toys and collectibles and tchotchkes. And at that point, then I might take them to a used toy store or something like that. I don't know, but for right now, I want my toys to be full of, of shelves. No, my shelves will be full of toys. Dyslexia. Unfortunately though, I'm not really seeing any toys or collectibles or tchotchkes that I do want to pick up. So I'm thinking the toy section is going to be a bust and that might just about do it for the uh, the thrift store. Though I guess I'll do a, a once around to see if there's anything else that jumps out at me, but I'm thinking it's just going to be a whole boatload of movies today. And again, all that 50% off. I'm, I'm really happy with my pickups and my, my finds today. No, I don't want to actually buy this, but um, I just, I have to show this off to you guys because it's kind of amazing. It's a dumbbell 
water bottle. So you fill this up with water and you you do your your reps while reps is that the word? You do you do your reps, I guess, while while drinking your your water. So not only can you go to the gym and get pumped and buffed by by exercising, but then you can get pumped and buffed for when you need to to quench your thirst from the exercising that's getting you pumped and buffed. Man, with with this, you'd be looking like me. If your clothes catch on fire, stop, drop, and roll. I mean, yeah, okay, words to live by right there, but I don't know what's more depressing, the idea of your clothes catching on fire or the fact that you know these people aren't alive anymore. I don't know why I'm even walking over into the Christmas section because you know that's just a bad idea for me. I, I do see some interesting things. I'm definitely digging this cookie jar down here, but do you think they actually got the, the rights to use the Oreo name and the Lifesavers name? I'm thinking probably not. Somebody was with cease and desist over this. I mean, it's pretty awesome. It's not in the, the greatest of condition, a little nicked up, unfortunately. I don't know, some some paint would make this look pretty good. That's an awesome looking gingerbread house cookie jar. I definitely like that. That is, um, that's a tempting thing to pick up, but I don't need, I don't need a, a Christmas cookie jar, but I do need, no, I don't, no. I don't need Christmas things. I don't have room for Christmas things. I wanna start buying toys and collectibles and tchotchkes. Cri Christmas stuff is considered tchotchkes. I should move on. All right, guys, so I think that is gonna do it for Liberty Ministry Thrift's gigantic, awesome mega store. I looked around, did not really see anything else that was jumping out at me, maybe with the exception of this awesome Mickey and Donald lunchbox. $13, that's that's pretty awesome, but it is over my price range, and I think it's over my my size limit as well, so gonna end up passing on that. They did have a, uh, a 101 Dalmatians plush here for only two dollars but again i'm not really trying to pick that kind of stuff up and oh my gosh yeah it's definitely time to to get out of this store again what i just i don't understand the fascination with collecting dolls they are creepy and they will murder you in your sleep but anyway i'm finding so much awesome stuff today i have a whole entire card here full of movies that are all 50 percent off so i am pretty happy like i said with my finds today i am very very happy with my finds today but with that we are done so as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also, check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Stop, for fun daily adventures. And I will see you guys in the next video. An entire pile of movies for 50% off. It was a good day. <gasps> Annabelle!